In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stock in out and balance tracker in Google Sheets. As you see in the screen, when I keep on tracking the in and out of the stock, the balance quantity automatically updates. Let's start with the process of doing this. First of all, here in the A3 cell, write stock in. Select three cells, then merge them. In the D3 cell, write stock out. Select three cells and merge. In the G3 cell, write stock balance. Select two cells here and merge. Now select all these three, then keep them at the center position by taking this center alignment. Below stock in, write date. In the next cell, write item name or you can also write product name. In the next cell, write quantity. Similarly, here to copy the same headers and paste it. For stock balance, put here item name and put here quantity. Now select this stock in part, then apply blue color highlighting for this. Select stock out part and apply the red color. Let's say this one and for the stock balance apply the green color this you can choose according to your requirement after this let's select here some rows just for example i am taking till row number 50 but you can take this according to your requirement now apply the border here all borders now adjust the column width for item name it should be little bigger for quantity you can decrease Below the item name of the stock balance section, enter all the items or products that you have. Here I am entering some electronic products, for example. Now create a drop down list here in the item name of the stock in and out to select the product. For this, select this range. Click on data tab, data validation, click on add rule, click on this button, then choose this drop down from a range option, click on this box, now select the item name that you listed here in stock balance section and while selecting the row here, take some more row because in future if new products are added, it will reflect in the drop down too. Here I am selecting till this row, now click on ok, click on done button scroll up and here you see the item selection drop down has been created close this data validation dialog box and here if you click on this you can select the item click on this first cell copy this by pressing ctrl c then select this item name range of the stock out section right click on mouse go to paste special and click on data validation only now the same validation is applied in the stock out section now to enable the date picker calendar here in the date column first select the date range then again go to data tab data validation click on add rule option click on this button then choose is valid date option then click on done button close this now if you double click on the cell you will see a date picker calendar from which you can choose the date now copy the validation from here control c then select the date range of the stock out section right click paste special then choose data validation only now the date picker calendar will be enabled here too if you double click here is a calendar now let's enter some transaction for stock in and out then we will apply the formula here in the stock balance Now based on this transaction we need to display the balance quantity here we have received 20 unit of television and sold out total 8 unit so the balance should be 12 for this we need to use the sum if function press is equal to use the sum if function open parenthesis in the range parameter we have to select the item name range of the stock in 
that is in the b5 to b50 cell so here type b5 colon b50 then lock this range by pressing f4 key in the keyboard then give a comma in the criterion we have to select the item name here in the stock balance so click on this cell that is the g5 cell then give a comma in the sum range we have to select the quantity range of the stock in section that is in the c5 to c50 so here put c5 colon c50 then press f4 key to lock this range close the sum if function now this will calculate the total stock in quantity for this item here in the stock balance now we have to subtract the stock out from this so here put minus symbol then again write another sum if function open parenthesis in the range select the stock out item name range that is in the e5 to e50 so here type e5 colon e50 then lock this by pressing f4 key give a comma in the criterion click on the item name of the stock balance comma in the sum range select the quantity range of the stock out section that is in the f5 to f50 so here put f5 colon f50 then lock it by pressing f4 key close the parenthesis now the formula is complete you can press enter and here you see the quantity is given as 12 unit here it is suggesting for auto fill the formula simply click on this tick mark and the formula is applied to all the cells here you see we purchased 20 unit of the television where there is 8 unit cells so the balance is given as 12 unit and the refrigerator we purchased 12 unit there is no sales that is why it is given as 12 as balance but if you record here a transaction of sales for refrigerator then the stock will automatically update here let me put 2 unit and I'll have 10 unit remaining so in this way we have to use formula in future if you add more products first of all you have to enter the new products here then you start recording the transaction now we have to lock this header part because when the transaction keeps on expanding we have to scroll it down and the header part will not be visible for this click on this date click on view tab click on freeze option then choose this up to row 4 option now this part will be locked if you scroll down the header part remains constant so this is how we can create this dynamic stock in out and balance tracker in google sheets if you want this sample workbook file you can get the google sheets link from the video description below if the tutorial was useful please give it a thumbs up by hitting on the like button below and i also request you to subscribe the channel to get similar kind of videos in future thank you so much for watching we will meet on next video tutorial